join kids hat family the boys in my class are very mean to me they are so tall and big that i always have to listen to whatever they say i am afraid to disagree with them Size has nothing to do with courage, Tofu. You don't have to be afraid just because you are short. Have you heard the story of Peter Pan? Peter Pan Once upon a time in London The darlings went out to a dinner party leaving their three children Wendy John and Michael at home After Wendy had tucked her younger brothers John and Michael to bed she went to read a book She heard a boy sobbing outside her window. He was flying. There was a little fairy fluttering around him. Wendy opened the window to talk to him. Hello. Who are you? Why are you crying? My name is Peter Pan. My shadow wouldn't stick to me. Don't worry. Come inside. Peter agreed. Wendy took his shadow and sewed it to his shoe tips. Now his shadow followed him wherever Peter Pan went. He was delighted. Thank you so much. Why don't you come with me to my home? The Neverland. I live there with my fairy Tinkerbell. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Let me wake up John and Michael too. Could you teach us how to fly? Yes, of course. Get them. We will all fly together. And so it was. Five little figures flew out of the window of the darlings and headed towards Neverland. As they flew over the island, Peter Pan told the children more about his homeland That island is Neverland All the children who get lost come and stay with Tinkerbell and me The Indians also live in Neverland The mermaids live in the lagoon around the island and a very mean pirate called Captain Hook keeps troubling everyone Captain Hook. Yes, a crocodile bit off his one arm. So the captain had to put a hook in its place. Since then, he's afraid of crocodiles, and rightly so. If the crocodile ever found Captain Hook, it will eat up the rest of what it couldn't eat the last time. Soon they landed on the island. And to the surprise of Wendy, John, and Michael, Peter Pan led them in through a small opening in a tree. Inside the tree was a large room with children inside it. 
some were huddled by the fire in a corner and some were playing amongst themselves. Their faces lit up when they saw Peter Pan, Tinkerbell and their guests. Hello everyone, this is Wendy, John and Michael. They will be staying with us from now on. Hello Wendy, John and Michael. A few days passed and they settled into a routine. Wendy would take care of all the children in the day and would go out with Peter Pan and her brothers in the evening to learn more about the island. She would cook for them and stitch new clothes for them. She even made a lovely new dress for Tinkerbell. One evening, as they were out exploring the island, Peter Pan warned everyone and said, Hide! Hide! Pirates! And they've kidnapped the Indian princess, Tiger Lily. They've kept her there, tied up by the rocks near the water. Peter was afraid and the princess would drown if she fell into the water. So, in a voice that sounded like Captain Hook, he shouted instructions to the pirates who guarded her. You fools! Let her go at once! Do it before I come there, or else I will throw each one of you into the water! The pirates got scared and immediately released the princess. She quickly dived into the water and swam to safety of her home. Soon everyone found out how Peter Pan had rescued the princess. When Captain Hook found out how Peter Pan had tricked his men, he was furious and swore to have his revenge. That night, Wendy told Peter Pan that she and her brothers wanted to go back home since they missed their parents. She said, if the lost children could also return to her world, they could find nice homes for them. Peter Pan didn't want to leave Neverland. But for the sake of the lost children, he agreed, although a bit sadly. He would miss his friends dearly. The next morning, all the lost children left with Wendy, John and Michael. But on the way, Captain Hook and his men kidnapped all of them. He tied them and kept them on one of his ships. As soon as Peter found out about it, he rushed to the ship. He swung himself from a tree's branch. And on to the deck of the ship where all the children were tied up. He 
he swung his sword bravely and threw over the pirates who tried to stop him. Quickly, he released everyone from the captor's ties. Wendy, John, Michael and Tinkerbell helped all the children into the water where their friends from the Indian camp were ready with smaller boats to take them to safety. Peter Pan now went looking for Captain Hook. Let us finish this forever, Hook. Yes, Peter Pan. You have caused me enough trouble. It is time that we finish this. With his sword drawn, he raced towards Peter Pan. Quick on his feet, Peter Pan stepped aside and pushed Hook into the sea where the crocodile was waiting to eat the rest of Hook. Everyone rejoiced as Captain Hook was out of their lives forever. Everybody headed back to London. Mr. and Mrs. Darling were so happy to see their children and they agreed to adopt the lost children. They even asked Peter Pan to come and live with them. But Peter Pan said he never wanted to grow up so he and Tinkerbell will go back to Neverland. Do visit us sometime Peter Pan. I will Wendy, promise. And he flew out of the window with Tinkerbell by his side. Thank you, dear. I feel much better. The next time the boys are mean to me, I will find a nice way out. Very good, Tofu. Now come, I can see Mom's car right there. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.